Hi, I'm Bishop Sue Hoppert Johnson, and I just moved in last week. Come on in. This is Saint Seraphim of Serov, S-A-S-A-R-O-V, and Saint Seraphim is always pictured with a bear, and uh, he was so. Uh, deeply spiritually grounded that he feared nothing. This is used, this image is used a lot uh, for fighting against powers and principalities, right? I like to see it to remind myself that I have to be grounded in my spiritual practices to come up against the powers and the principalities and the real forces that work against Christ and His Church. This poster is a wonderful gift to me from the Candler School of Theology for work I've done for them for years. Uh, I led their um, alumni board, but uh, this is a piece by John August Swanson because it's all about unity and changing the world through unity. Uh, it has a distinctive labor feel to it, uh, and I think that it reminds me that uh, there's two sides to our Wesleyan heritage. One side is personal piety, where we um, become more like Christ through our spiritual practices, but on the other side, you can't be transformed and be like Christ unless you're working out in the world to change it. And so I love all these images of how through Christ and His call on our lives, we can change the world, but it's always about working together to make a difference. So a powerful piece and one that I enjoy looking at every day. This is a picture. I've been uh, in a covenant group with three clergy women for over 25 years, and we have shared life together and we hold each other accountable. But when I was consecrated as a bishop, they gave me this piece, and it comes from a story. Uh, my very first appointment in Florida was at First United Methodist Church of Lakeland, and I joined that uh, church as the first female pastor on their staff. And so I remember well the first Sunday I was preaching at that church. I, I know the whole congregation felt like I was an alien from another planet. They'd, I grew up in that church and they had never seen a female pastor preach from that pulpit. And so I was really nervous, really unsettled. Um, it was about 8.15 in the morning. I was waiting for the service to start. And uh, I grew up in that church and knew every corner of that church, every window, everything. And the sun hit one of the, the eastern sun hit one of the windows and it shone brightly and it caught my attention. And I looked up and this is the window that was lit and the sun was shining right through Susanna Wesley. And I had never noticed that this church had a total, a whole window of the Wesley lives, but Susanna was at the top and I felt like she was saying, welcome friend, I've been waiting for you. And so all of my fears were dispelled. And every time I, I am in Lakeland, I will go by that church and I will go say hello to Susanna.